Hello everybody and welcome to the first video lecture for Oracle Administration and uh, Database Principles. And uh, in this first video what we're going to do is download uh, Oracle and we're going to install the Express Edition uh, which is absolutely free and it's available from the Oracle website. As of the making of this video, 11G is the most current version and uh, what we're going to do is uh, run through how to get your system set up. You need a Windows XP or you need a Windows 7 um, system. I'm going to show this to you on a Windows XP. Um, so actually, to make your life simple, what I've done is uh, just downloaded, uh, just typed in downloaded Oracle from a Google prompt. If you type in download Oracle, what ends up happening is the first link comes up and it gives you the Oracle site. You want to download this from the Oracle site. You don't want to pick one of the other ones. And let me just zoom in real quick here, and you can actually see this URL. Um, you can pause the video. It's at the top here, the top of the screen. Pause the video if you need to. Write this down. Type it into your web browser um, and bring it up and um, get to where I am, and then restart the video, and then you can follow along with my instructions uh, just fine. Um, so let me zoom out a little bit so I can actually see what I'm looking at. Okay. Um, we see when we go to the website, of several options that are available. The first one uh, on the left here, we see 11G. It's really just easier to follow. It's in the middle of the screen. Um, this link will actually take us directly to the download section. If you're not there, you can click on downloads to get there. I'm actually logged in. You will have to create an account if you have not um, have not done that already. The account is absolutely free. Use a Yahoo address um, or use uh, you know a Gmail account or something like that. They're just going to ask for uh, you know maybe um, you know who are you? Are you a student? Are you a researcher? And why do you want to download Oracle? And uh, you know just a couple of questions. But it, it, it's a fairly painless registration process. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to uh, download it. You don't have to do it first because once you begin this process, it's going to prompt you to register because you're not going to have a name and a password to type in. So after you've gone through that, um, you must accept the license agreement by clicking on the button to accept it. When you've done that, you'll see a thank you for accepting. Um, you know, little button, the buttons go away. And uh, up here on the top, we have the Oracle 11G Release 2. This is the one we're going to download and install. Uh, the trickiest part is finding the right version for your particular operating system. I have a Windows 32 system. The ones on the top are smaller files. They're broken out into file one and file two for low download speeds. If you've got a, uh, you've got a pretty good connection, I'd, I'd go down to the bottom here and um, I would actually get the released one. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm actually going to download release one and not release two. Um, only because I like the file format better. It doesn't really matter which one you install. Um, in fact, if you want, you can go down and get a 10G if you want down here. Um, and the 10G option, there's only two selections, one for Linux and one for Microsoft Windows. With a 10G release 2, where you can get a bunch of the other ones uh, for the Mac OS X, um, which might be kind of an interesting video. I think I'll do that one next, actually. Uh, it might be interesting to see it installed. Um, but uh, Anyway, I'm, I'm going to actually come up here and I'm going to select the 11G Release 1 and I'm going to click on this one here. It says Microsoft Windows 32-bit, which is going to be 1.7 gigabytes in size. And when I click on it, it should hopefully bring up a little screen, which it did. So I'm getting the Win32 version of it, 11G Release 1 of the database and I'm going to hit OK. If you get a registration screen, that means you need to log on and register with uh, Oracle. Um, and then what ends up happening is make sure you give them a valid email account because the email account name ends up being your username and then they send you the password. Um, so it's kind of a verification that they actually have a real person. So. Um, what I'm going to do now, um, hopefully you have been able to start your download. If not, uh, go ahead and register and go ahead and click on one of those links and start your download and then return to part two of this series once you have downloaded your zipped file uh, because then what we're going to do is run through the install and um, it's fairly quick fairly easy uh, but this download part is 100 well 1.7 gigabytes is it's going to take uh, you know here it takes one hour and 31 minutes according to this screen so we'll see how this works 
Um, so anyway, download your file, return back once your file has been downloaded.